Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the star out here first. We have a chosen one, okay. We have the world card out here, okay. Transmutation here. Looks like somebody's about to cross over here. This is also the ending of a cycle for somebody, for a chosen one, okay. And then you have the lover's card Hmm, and it says indecision, which is choices. Okay. Let me see. I see that somebody is about to be partnered up. Somebody is about to go into a partnership, which is going to lead to a soul family, which is going to lead them to their soul family here. There's a lot of people here, okay? Somebody needs to go through some type of shift, though, or they're going to, okay? They're going to go through some type of shift here in order to prepare you for this partnership or this relationship. This will be the beginning. It's as if you have to walk through with this person. Like, you, you're not going to walk through the door alone. You are being prepared first, and then you're going to walk through with somebody, okay? This does not have to be an intimate relationship. This can be something that is business related. This can be a friend that's doing something for you and putting you on a platform or something like that. You know, just to just to clarify that energy here. But somebody is going to. Something has to be wrapped up here. I'm going to figure out what this is. There's something here that has to be wrapped up before this relationship can come together I do feel like somebody is going to get chosen okay somebody is going to stand out above the rest here you have the chariot energy here okay this is the energy of somebody that's moving forward or something is progressing something is moving Okay, there's like a direction here, like something is in motion here. Okay, somebody is currently being prepared for this, this choice or this relationship. Okay, it will be your choice, but there's some type of transformation that's being had here. We have Page of Pentacles, so it's some type of opportunity here. It's some type of opportunity that's going to come into your life, but there has there's some type of shift that has to happen first. This shift is very, very important here. Ace of Wands energy here. You see, and this Ace of Wands is falling right underneath this world card, this transmutation. Like, so, this is very spiritual, what is about to occur or how this is going to wrap up. Okay. I'm also seeing that whatever this is that's coming towards you, this is in your path. Like, this is meant for you. It's not meant for nobody else, is what I'm trying to say. It's a chosen one energy here. This is the star. This is somebody that has, let's say, balanced the divinity within them, balanced their responsibilities, their earthly responsibilities. Like, you know, you have to be two people. I'm just saying, there has to be a balance of the light and the shadow. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Like somebody that has identified, you know, you're here and you're there. And then the moon card comes out here. Speaking of being there and here. Okay, this is something that's very hidden here. I wonder why it's so hidden. Like why it's, I feel like somebody's being pulled towards this relationship. Like somebody wants to be in the front when it's time to, it's like, this is like that energy of like a bride being prepared. 
like I'm really seeing that. You have the let's say the bride over here, okay, and the bride is naked right now. And this transmutation, this world card, there are certain things that, you know, this bride has to be, they have to be prepared. This is the preparation right here, is this world energy. And then somebody wants to be right in the front. Somebody wants you, it's you that's choosing somebody else. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody can show interest in you, but it's about who you choose, okay? And maybe they... Maybe they have fear surrounding that. Okay. You have the four of swords here. Hmm. And this is the one here in the middle. Hmm. A lot of this is hidden. All of this is hidden. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Let's say that the quote-unquote bride does not know. Okay? There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that they don't know. Maybe on both parts. Okay? This could also be somebody that's, you know, they're still, let's say, in secret form. Or they're still, like, incognito in some kind of way. Okay? I really feel like somebody maybe planning on making this move or they are at peace with this or it's two people that have to make a choice okay but the last person that makes a choice is you but one person here is very sure okay one person here is at peace with wanting to be in this relationship or wanting to be in this partnership but they do not know if you are going to choose them okay and this is after whatever it is that needs to be done whatever preparations there's something here then you got the ace of cups here they're really like this is somebody that knows without a doubt that they love you they know without a doubt okay four of swords is very comfortable four of swords is like i don't even gotta worry about that I'm going to just sit right here. I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just wait until that time. Like somebody is really, somebody's really at peace with how they feel about you, but they don't know how you feel about them. Okay. Because you're the star here. You're the chosen one here. They really want this to be a new love for them. Okay. Knight of Cups, you see? Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. They want to make a proposal to you. They want to make a proposal. They want to propose something to you. All of this is hidden right now because of this transformation that needs to happen. And right under the transformation card is the Ace of Wands energy. So this is a spiritual transformation. Okay? It's this is something that's going that's going really on in the inside. It may manifest on the outside. It may look like it's something with the outside, but it's really something that's on the inside. Anything that's done here is... Well, actually, no, I should say it the other way. Anything that is done there is done here. Okay? But because of our perception, we only are in tune with, let's say, the Earth energy. Okay? And I'm not speaking for everybody, but... Yeah. We have the Queen of Cups energy here. So now we got all these cups coming out. We got the Ace of Cups, we got the Knight of Cups, then we got the Queen of Cups. It's, it feels like an elevation in love in some kind of way. Like somebody's love has grown. Okay? Like somebody's emotions are stable. Like somebody really, really knows. I'm getting this, this feeling in my heart, actually. I don't want to call it a pain, but I'm feeling something here. Like somebody really feels it in their heart for you. Somebody really... And it's... Mm, I even, I think it's like the feeling of healing. You see, you got another Ace of Wands here right underneath this Page of Pentacles. Man, this is an amazing start for somebody. This is somebody that like, they have a gift here. You got two Ace of Wands here and it's a Page of Pentacles. Whatever this pinnacle is, it's a gift. It's a gift. It's, it's, it's straight up a gift from above. With two Ace of Wands here, which is very, very spiritual here. Both of these Ace of Wands are touching this Page of Pentacle here. Okay. It's like as if this page of pinnacles 
has like protection around them or they have this gift or they have this it's something that they have here that's very prominent here for these ace of wands to come out like this and you got another page of pentacles how you got page of pentacles ace of wands ace of wands page of pentacle <laughs> this is very this is like a checkerboard right here like this is somebody that is very balanced this is somebody that is ready this is somebody that has many gifts, many talents. Okay, this is not just one thing. Like somebody is really feeling it for you. Whoever this person is, this is crazy right here. How that came out like that. That is crazy. Now this look like, you know, how I said checkers and chess and stuff like that. Yeah, how this looks, Page of Pentacles and then the Ace of Wands. And then right out of the Page of Pentacles, you got Ace of Wands and then Page of Pentacles right here. It's like, it's a very protective energy right here. Like this is a square. This is a stable energy. This is like promise. That's why this is a star because whatever talent they have, this is promised. Okay, what they're going to create, it is promised. It is from above here. Okay. Somebody is very in tune with themselves. Somebody is very emotionally stable here. Somebody is very intuitive also because this is a chariot. Um, this is astrological sign of cancer. And the Queen of Cups can also be a cancer. Okay. Or any other water sign like Scorpio, Pisces. But this is a very intuitive star. A very intuitive star. And then you got the Fool card here underneath. The, oh, wait. I didn't say nothing about this Hierophant that's underneath the moon. Now, hmm. Okay, 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 okay. The Hierophant is somebody that has a very high integrity, okay? They are somebody that can be trusted, okay? They are somebody that likes to follow the rules, okay? But this falling underneath the moon card makes me feel like somebody like what's at the root of their soul they feel like this is this is the right thing to do this is the right place for them this is where they're going to find their own healing this is a this is a how can i say someone that is looked up to they are looked up to okay but even people that are looked up to need healing even people that are looked up to have fears okay and I really think this is reflective of that. We're even possibly within them. They feel that this is the right thing to do. This relationship is the right thing to do. It is part of their integrity. There's going to be, you know, it's, it is associated with fears. This is like somebody that it feels like they're taking a chance. Like they are taking a chance. And then it's your choice. Whether you want to take this chance or not but somebody feels it deep within their core that this is the right thing to do but you know how can i say this you know that feeling of when it's the right thing to do but you, you're still scared see when you still do it even though you're scared that's called courage okay so somebody here is in that place where they have not exposed it yet they they when they do this will be an act of courage, okay? This is not something easy for somebody to do here. Oh no, I don't wanna drop all these cards. Then you got the full energy here. Let me just pick these up. You got the full energy here underneath the four of swords here. They know without a doubt, like I said, that they wanna have this new beginning with you, that this is where they wanna sow their seeds, that this is where life is leading them and they're trusting in it and they're going to put their trust in this okay they may have questioned this a very long time like god is this really what you want me to do are you sure that this is what i'm supposed to do and i get the feeling that they get the message like they've gotten the message plenty 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 times that this is the right thing to do okay that this is where your heart is leading you. You have Ace of Pentacles here with the Ace of Cups. You see, and this, this Page of Pentacles here, two Page of Pentacles here, 
this could be two people also that's starting something for the first time. Maybe that's never been done before. Okay, but whatever this is, somebody has major gifts here. Major, major gifts here. Okay, and I feel it's like the same energy on this side. You got the pinnacle here and you got the, the ace of cups here. Just like this energy with the page of cups and the chariot or the queen of cups. It's like this, this energy of earth and water. Like really caring about what it is that you're creating. Really caring about what it is that you're manifesting. Really putting your all really planting that seed like <sighs> like they know that this is the the real deal whoever this is that wants to choose you and be chosen they know that this is the real deal okay they may even know that you know your gifts. Like this is not somebody that can manipulate you. This is somebody that's going to do the right thing. Okay. And they have looked into your soul. In some kind of way. So this is not somebody that's going to take advantage of you. Okay. Let me get one more. The world card again. You see, and I said we're going to find out with this, this wrapping up. This is the world card energy. It says transmutation. Something wrapping up. What was it that's wrapping up? But it ends with the world card here. This is what they're wrapping up. These fears. These fears need to be wrapped up. Not only their fears, there are a lot of things that you may not know about what this person is going through. Like I could dig into this moon card right here. But, you know, I'm not going I'm not going to even do that. I'm not going to do that. I can see that whatever it is, they just need time to wrap it up. OK, but if, if this is a partnership, this is two people that's mirroring each other. This is two people that's wrapping something up. These are this is two people that are going through this process of wrapping it up, because as you can see, you got the star and you got the world card. This is collective. This is a chosen one wrapping things up. But then you got the world card on top of the Hierophant and the moon. That means this person is also wrapping things up. This is a mirrored relationship, okay? It's really as if if both of y'all come together because y'all both is Page of Pentacles energy when y'all start. Y'all both doing something new here. It's as if this is promise. Like, only thing that has to be done is the fears have to be overcome. And somebody, of course, has to make the right choice. Like, times are changing. The world is changing. It's not like that conning stuff. That stuff is going away. It is. It's slowly going away. There's a lot of crooks out there. There's a lot of thieves. There's a lot of liars. Yes, there are. But as the times are changing, the truth is being revealed. The truth is coming out. The light is being shown. People are being dismantled. You can't ignore the fact that these things are happening. This is the world that we are going towards. We're going towards integrity. We're going towards doing the right thing and giving people what they have earned. There are many people that have earned things, but they never get those things because of different things. Like, let's say, the color of their skin or their ethnicity or their gender. These things should have never held anything back. And these are the things that's being dismantled. Somebody here wants to do the right thing. I'm telling you, it says holy love at the bottom. But let me pull let me pull something. We have composure here. So maybe things need to maybe things need to calm after whatever it is. I don't know what this is that needs to be taken care of that you cannot see, that maybe they don't want you to see. Okay? But they got some things that they gotta wrap up. You know, because they can't come into your energy frantic. Everybody has to have composure. Everybody has to be in a calm place. And y'all are gonna mirror each other. This is going to happen when both of y'all are in the right place at the right time. Blessings and abundance. That's what's going to happen. Vulnerability and freedom. And you see the star? You see that person reaching for that star. That's them. That's what they want here. 
They want to be free from these fears. They want to be vulnerable with somebody. Okay, with this intuitive Queen of Cups here. This can be a male or a female. These Page of Pentacles can be male or female. All of these energies can be masculine, feminine. It doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it right there. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.